All right, guys. <laughs> it turns out that I had to bring my seat trays in because it's going to be dropping down into the teens, and I got a, a little overzealous. So, no problem. You know, I have a light over here anyway, so I could keep these going for a little while. I still think spring's going to come in a little early this year, so these will be okay for a couple of weeks inside of here, but not that long. Okay, some of these trays that I actually these trays that I put in here are the deeper kind the other ones outside that I'm going to use for my peppers they're very small plugs so once they get to a certain size you got to transplant them so but I save these deeper trays uh, for you know these kind of plants because I'm going to let them grow for a little bit I did somewhat anticipate this happening but you can see how deep these are so they're quite deep there's plenty of soil in there and everything like that. But another reason why I brought them in, believe it or not, is because I got a little titmouse running around in my greenhouse. And he started digging up all my seeds. A lot of these had holes in them. He went in there, dug the seeds up, and ate them. I got to get rid of this mouse, guys. This is really getting, starting to really get bother me. It's really starting to, to, to become a problem. But that's another problem as far as me starting seeds. He just starts digging in all these little trays. He knows exactly where the seeds are. So I got a little problem with that mouse in there. I don't know if it's the same thing as it was last year. It could be a vol. Somebody says it's probably a vol, which is a type of mouse or a field mouse or whatever. It could be one of those. I don't know. But this thing is incredibly smart, incredibly quick. It's really going to be a challenge to deal with this thing. So... But anyway, I'm just showing you my, you know, my seed trays. I got one here that I didn't plant. I'm going to plant a few of those seeds out. I got to go out and get my spray bottle and spray this stuff down. But as you can see, some of them are starting to sprout. All right. So these are, these are radishes. So you can get away with leaving the radishes in there for a little while. They, they, could, they grow together in bunches pretty good. The radishes, the beets... The carrots, the, uh, what are those things, turnips, they'll be, those will be, all of them will be okay for a little while. You know, a couple of weeks, I should be okay with them. By then, it should be warm enough, pretty much, for me to keep them in the greenhouse, and hopefully all the rest of this stuff will sprout, so the little, the little rat that's running around in there won't keep digging up my stuff. Like, I started okras, he dug all my, most of my okra seeds out and ate my okra seeds. Now, I got to redo my okra. The okra is you kind of want to get started early because they take a while for them to get, you know, decent size. And especially here, I have a short season here. And okras are really kind of more or less a, a longer season plant. I've grown okra up north up here. But you want to get started with certain things early. The turnips, you kind of want to get them in early. You want to get the you want to get your beets started if you're going to do beets. You want to get your root crops started now because those things take a while to bulb up. So, yeah, you want to get them going, get them nice and healthy, but you don't want to leave them in these little pots forever. You want, they're going to start, these are going to get big quick, and then after that, you know, <laughs> you're going to have to separate them, or you're going to have to bring them out. you got to do something with them. You can't just, like, leave them in here forever. Though you can actually grow bunches of radishes together, like clump, clump grow them, but you'll get, like, one or two will form a bulb, and the rest will be, like, little strings. And you kind of don't want that, you know. You want to get them all to bulb, so that means you gotta, you gotta really place them out and separate them and everything like that. So, but yeah, I got beets coming up there, right? Got some of those coming up. These, this, I, I got some surprises in here. I'm not gonna let you all see everything. I got some really interesting stuff I planted out this year, and they're gonna be a lot of fun to grow. Hopefully, everything sprouts for me. I don't know if it will. But hopefully everything will go. But yeah, the beets, the radishes, turnips, they're coming up quick. They came right up already. So, but yeah, I had to bring them in. They're talking about Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is all going to be in the teens. And then it's going to be like in the 40s in the day. And then at night it goes down to the teens. So, not looking forward to that. But Again, I was semi-prepared for it. That's why I didn't overplant. I just did enough that I knew I could bring these trays in. I even got enough room for one more tray over there if I need to. And that should be quite okay as far as um, just getting by for the next couple of weeks. I'm, I'm thinking by the end of March should be probably warm enough to go in the greenhouse. So 
I got my fingers crossed anyway. All right, so yeah, it's a little seed update. I got, I got a couple more things. I'm going to do some small films on, a couple updates. I got something interesting. I'm going to start indoors. We'll, uh, we'll go from there. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, take care, guys.